Did you know the first hyperbaric chamber was introduced by a British physician in 1662? They've been with us for hundreds of years, but the many ailments they can treat continues to evolve. Aaron Berg reports on innovative new treatments using 100% pure oxygen. <laughs> it's so exciting. <laughs> hyperbaric oxygen treatment, or HBOT, commonly refers to the delivery of oxygen under increased pressure. The standard duration is 60 to 90 minutes and has been increasing in popularity for a variety of ailments. So oxygen under pressure enables the oxygen to be dissolved in your circulatory system and it creates systematic healing. Paul Conradi is the owner and operator of Oasis Hyperbarics in Edmond. He's seen firsthand what hyperbaric treatments can do for his clients and himself. I had cancer right out a year ago. I was this time last year. I had an open spot on my skull about the size of a tennis ball. Over the course of the next two months, I dove daily and I grew the top of my head back and covered my scalp. These chambers have also proven to be effective in treating injuries you can't see, including traumatic brain injuries and post-traumatic stress syndrome or PTSD. I wasn't in the chamber maybe 10 minutes and the headache went away, which was just amazing to me because normally I'd have to go hide in a completely dark room and take a whole bunch of medicine that the VA gave me. So that really intrigued me and it, it really gave me hope. The state legislature has undertaken a new interim study on the effectiveness of hyperbaric treatments for veterans with PTSD and traumatic brain injuries. Conradi believes he knows what the results will show. We saw tremendous relief for PTSD, concussion injuries, by utilizing oxygen under pressure, HBOT therapy. Hyperbaric treatments have also given Sandy Chapel hope. She was involved in a bad auto accident that left her with a severe concussion. I couldn't even like lift plates out of the dishwasher without just hurting. Um, I was a sign language interpreter at church. I had to quit signing. By 18th dive, it was like 80% better. And I went back to signing at church and having a normal life. The Federal Drug Administration does regulate what hyperbarics can be used for. Paul Conradi believes the list is too limited and should be expanded beyond the 14 currently approved by the FDA. Those 14 include uh, CO gas poisoning, burns, um, complicate uh, uh, skin grafts that aren't growing back properly, infection, uh, diabetic foot wound, diabetic ulcers. There are two reasons why the use of hyperbarics is not more widespread in Oklahoma. It can be expensive and many insurance companies do not cover the costs, which can vary greatly from hundreds to thousands of dollars per one hour treatment. The cost has gone up so drastically that insurance very seldom approves HBOT for even those 14 approved conditions. There's just no way they shouldn't look at this again and do a study and um, it would save so much money in the medical world getting people off pharmaceuticals, um, just letting the body innately heal itself. Conradi believes that will happen as those studies confirm the effectiveness of hyperbarics on more conditions. When that happens, he says the cost should go down, allowing more people to benefit from an element that literally surrounds all of us. God patented oxygen, right? Pfizer can't. So oxygen is the drug that God gives us to use to replenish our body. Aaron Bird, The Oklahoma News Report.